it was a shock to uh, get the call in, um, to find out I was nominated, uh, surreal, and then I was in the studio. You were writing, I was in the studio uh, when I got the call from Mark, and uh, it was actually a number I didn't recognize, so I just deleted, I, I said, and, yeah, I didn't know what it was, I didn't answer it. <laughs> and then it, it called again. <laughs> <laughs> um, surreal, and it was beautiful because I was just at soundstage, so not too far from here, just a block away. Um, and I said to Mark, it was a perfect place to be because I was standing at the back of soundstage getting that call, looking across where Shoney's used to be on the Mumbrian, oh, and yeah. it's where I stayed when I first came to Nashville in 1989, it was my first trip, I stayed at the Shoney's there. and. Um, <laughs> Uh, and one of the most magical things I got to do that night was go to the Blueberry Cafe. Um, I really wanted to go, I went, and luckily the four writers that night sitting in the round were Tom Schuyler, Fred Noblock, Craig Bacard, and Don Schlitz. They were the four writers that I got to see at my very first trip. And I sat in the Blueberry, I, like I get chills looks. to this day thinking about it. And their banter between each other, between the songs, it was just like another world had opened up to me as a songwriter. And then they played this song called This Old House, and I just wept. I sat in that Bluebird Cafe and wept, and I went, how do you write a song from the house's point of view that makes me cry? And, uh, and it was just, still to this day, one of the most beautiful songs. Um, I knew right then and there I wanted to be here, I wanted to learn more about writing. And uh, I came back regularly and was uh, mm -hmm. driving down the music row with my piece of crap Chevy Cavalier. <laughs> and, uh, that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Um, five days a week, writing with some person who I just met in a windowless room with a yellow legal pad and two acoustic guitars. Five days a week, um, crying sometimes because I just hated it so much, but I learned so much in that period uh, from, all, from so many writers. And if someone had just said, from that shiny's over there, a mere block away, I'd be standing here getting inducted into right. this amazing group of people and sitting alphabetically right between Conway Twitty and Towns Van Zandt, although now it's Ray Van Hoy. Hugely honored. And I want to thank Kix too. I'm so thrilled that he's here today because he was, uh, other than Barry and Jill Coburn signing me to my first publishing deal in 1994, Kix was really the next one that came along and with his wife Barbara sat on the shag pile carpet at Jack's Guitar Bar and saw me play in like 1995 and took us out on tour when I didn't have a record deal I had nothing and he took us out on tour and he's been a champion ever since I love you kicks uh, I'm so grateful that you're right here and just really honored to be here so thank you very much to everyone who made this possible thank you